My disclaimer? My videos don't necessarily promote one religion. My views and opinions aren't meant to change the minds, opinions, or beliefs of others. Watch with an open mind. Disclaimer. Copyright Disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, entertainment, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All rights and credit go directly to its rightful owners. No copyright infringement is intended. We continue to uncover the profound wisdom within the timeless scriptures. Take care and God bless. Welcome back, folks. Today, we have an exciting topic to explore, the fascinating world of church denominations. We'll delve into the traditions and beliefs of 25 prominent denominations, and our focus today will be on the journey from Baptist to Pentecostal. So, grab a cup of coffee and join me as we embark on this enlightening journey. Before we begin, let me clarify something. This isn't about one denomination being better than another. Instead, it's about understanding the rich tapestry of beliefs and practices that make up the Christian faith. Have you ever wondered why some Christians baptize through immersion while others prefer sprinkling? What about the spirited worship often associated with Pentecostal churches? Well, today we'll answer these questions and more. When transitioning from Baptist to Pentecostal, one might notice several changes in both form and function. Take baptism, for example. In Baptist churches, it's often performed through immersion, symbolizing the cleansing of sins and resurrection into a new life. In the Pentecostal tradition, baptism by the Holy Spirit is emphasized, believed to empower individuals with spiritual gifts and a deeper communion with God. Now, let's talk about that lively, energetic worship found in many Pentecostal churches. While Baptists often emphasize a more solemn and reverent approach, Pentecostals believe in the manifestation of spiritual gifts, such as speaking in tongues, healing, and prophecy. For them, worship is a dynamic expression of their faith and an encounter with the power of the Holy Spirit. Another fascinating aspect to explore is church structure. While both Baptist and Pentecostal churches have autonomy in their congregations, decision-making processes in Pentecostal churches often involve more active participation from their members. They emphasize the leadership and guidance of the Holy Spirit, which can result in a more flexible and collaborative approach to church governance. As we compare different denominations, it's essential to remember the common thread that binds all Christians our faith in Jesus Christ. Despite varying traditions, worship styles, and beliefs, the central message remains unchanged, the saving grace of Jesus. Listed below are the characteristics of a denomination. Mummery, distinct beliefs. A religious denomination is characterized by its own unique set of beliefs that serve to distinguish it apart from other organizations within the same religious tradition. Thus, shared practices. Denominations are religious groups that share commonalities in worship, sacramental rituals, and other forms of religious observance. Mumpers, organizational structure, 
different faiths set up different rankings of authority and procedures for making decisions and running day-to-day -day operations. Manur, autonomy. Denominations are autonomous in the sense that they are self-governing, even if they are affiliated with other organizations. Mas, common identity. Members of a denomination identify with and see themselves as belonging to the same religious community as other members of their religion. Six, historical origin. Originating from particular events, theological debates, or reform efforts within the greater religious tradition, denominations have their own unique histories. Naming and affiliation. Denominations are distinguished from one another by their names and labels, which reflect their ties to a specific theological system or historical figure, such as Baptist, Methodist, or Lutheran. Worship and liturgy. Different denominations have different approaches to worship, liturgy, and other aspects of religious ceremonies. Mus, interpretation of scripture. Some denominations have various theologies based on how the Bible is interpreted and what is prioritized within that interpretation. 10. Community and identity. Denominations give its members a sense of community and identity by uniting them with people who share their beliefs, developing a sense of community and belonging among believers. 11. Doctrinal statements. Official declarations of faith or creeds that lay forth the essential beliefs and teachings of a denomination are published by many religious groups. 12. Mission and outreach. Denominations are committed to spreading their ideas and teachings through various evangelistic and community service initiatives. 13. Education and training. Theological schools, seminaries, and other educational opportunities for clergy and laypeople are widely available from a variety of religious groups. Foreign, global engagement. Religious organizations, or denominations, participate in global discourse and collaboration with one another to foster mutual understanding and fellowship. Denominations are determined based on differences in theology, historical events, and how religious practice is set up. Denominations form separate groups with their own beliefs and identities when members disagree about how to understand sacred texts, doctrines, or worship practices, leading to the creation of denominations. Theological differences include different views on things such as rituals, the nature of God, how the church must run, and salvation. Religious reform movements and divisions are examples of historical events that led to the formation of groups. Organizational structures and leadership styles vary between faiths, which makes them even more distinct. A congregation that identifies with a certain denomination and follows its beliefs and practices is a denominational church. It's difficult to get an exact count of how many Christians there are in the world because Christians have different ideas about what it means to be a Christian and how to define themselves. The answer to the query, how many Christians are there, is more than two billion making Christianity the biggest religion in the world. Christians belong to a wide range of denominations, which shows how different their views and ways of living are. Religious denominations differ from one another in terms of theological ideas, worship practices, organizational structures, and historical roots. There are numerous Christian branches, or denominations, each with its own set of tenets and rituals, for instance. The Bible is interpreted differently by different groups, and there are different beliefs on the nature of God, the divinity of Jesus Christ, salvation, and the function of sacraments. Traditional and formal services to more modern and informal gatherings are found within the wide range of denominations. Some denominations have a top-down leadership structure, while others give local congregations considerable leeway. The Protestant Reformation of the 16th century has historical roots and ramifications, contributed to giving birth to numerous Christian denominations. The diversity of religious groups is a manifestation of the evolving character of religious traditions 
and the variety of ways in which believers express their beliefs within a common religious framework. Protestantism is the biggest Christian group in the United States, and it includes a wide range of religious groups. There are many different religions belonging to the group, such as Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Lutheran, Pentecostal, and others. The fact that Protestantism has many different denominations, a wide range of theologies, and an impact on society shows how important it has been in American history. The Pew Research Center says that 48.5% of the people in the United States are Protestant. Catholicism has been around in the United States since colonial times, which has helped the Roman Catholic Church grow. Catholic immigrants from all over the world, especially in the 19th and early 20th centuries, had a big impact on the country's religious environment. The way people are religious today is still affected by what happened in the past. The Catholic Church is the second biggest religion in the United States. 23% of the population was Catholic as of the year 2018. Pew Research Center's study and various other surveys, including those conducted by Gallup and the General Social Survey, have consistently found Protestantism to be the largest Christian denomination in the U.S. The studies employ diverse sampling techniques and methodologies, which enhances the reliability of their conclusions. Protestantism, 48.5%, Catholicism, 23%, Mormonism, 1.8%, Other Christian, younger 1%, unaffiliated, 29%, make up the list of largest megachurches in the United States. Religious demographics shift over time due to factors such as birth rates, conversion rates, and changes in social attitudes. Data gathered as of today indicates that Protestantism holds the largest share among Christian denominations in the U.S. Staying updated with the latest surveys and reports is crucial for a comprehensive understanding of religious trends in the United States. Listed below are types of denomination churches. Magaktas, Catholicism. Catholicism is the largest Christian denomination centered around the authority of the Pope and the teachings of the Magisterium. Catholic churches emphasize the sacraments and tradition. Roman Catholic Church and Eastern Catholic Churches, e.g. Maronite, Melkite, Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church, are notable examples. Protestantism. Protestantism originated from the 16th century Reformation and emphasized the authority of the Bible, salvation by faith alone, and the priesthood of all believers. Lutheranism, e.g. Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod, Reformed, e.g. Presbyterian Church, USA, United Reformed Church, Anglicanism, e.g. Church of England, Episcopal Church, are notable examples. Orthodox Christianity. Orthodox Christianity includes various self-governing churches that emphasize ancient liturgical practices, iconography, and a ranking structure. Eastern Orthodox Church, e.g. Greek Orthodox, Russian Orthodox, and Oriental Orthodox Church, e.g. Coptic Orthodox Church of Alexandria, Armenian Apostolic Church, are notable examples. Half Evangelicalism. Evangelicalism emphasizes personal conversion, evangelism, and the authority of Honduras, the Bible. Characterized by the focus on individual faith and a direct relationship with Jesus Christ, Southern Baptist Convention, Assemblies of God, and Church of the Nazarene are notable examples. My five, Pentecostalism. Pentecostalism emphasizes the role of the Holy Spirit, spiritual gifts, and speaking in tongues, including enthusiastic worship and a belief in ongoing miracles. Pentecostal Assemblies of the World, International Church of the Foursquare Gospel, and United Pentecostal Church International are notable examples. Sings Anabaptist. Anabaptist traditions emphasize adult baptism, separation from the world, nonviolence, and a strong community ethic. Mennonite Church, Amish Communities, and Brethren in Christ are notable examples. Latter-day Saints 
Mormonism. The Latter-day Saints, known as Mormons, have unique beliefs in additional scriptures such as the Book of Mormon and distinctive doctrines about the nature of God and the purpose of human life. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and the Community of Christ are notable examples. Quakerism, Society of Friends. Quakers emphasize direct spiritual experience, non-ranking organization, and a commitment to peace and social justice. Friends, General Conference and Evangelical Friends. Church International are notable examples. A maintenance church focuses on sustaining existing practices, traditions, and structures. Maintenance churches emphasize maintaining established routines, rituals, and programs, rather than actively seeking significant growth or change. The primary goal of a maintenance church is to preserve the status quo and provide spiritual support and community for its current members. A maintenance church is characterized by its stability, routine, inward focus, pastoral care, and limited innovation. Maintenance churches value stability and continuity. Maintenance churches are resistant to major changes that disrupt the established way of doing things. There's a strong emphasis on following established routines and rituals in worship services and other church activities. Prioritizing the needs and preferences of current members over outreach to new individuals or demographics. Pastoral care and support for existing members are important aspects of maintaining churches. They are cautious about adopting new methods or technologies while not entirely opposed to change. Maintenance churches create a sense of belonging and familiarity for their members by maintaining long-standing practices and traditions, providing a stable and predictable environment where people find comfort and a sense of community. Engaging in regular worship services, traditional rituals, and community gatherings, they have established programs for education, fellowship, and pastoral care. Practices observed in maintenance churches are driven by a desire to provide continuity, stability, and comfort for their members. Their practices help preserve a sense of identity and belonging within the church community. Lutheranism, Anglicanism, and Presbyterian churches are some examples of maintenance churches. Certain Lutheran churches that emphasize tradition and liturgy fall into the category of maintenance churches. Anglican or Episcopalian churches that maintain traditional liturgical practices and ranking structures align with the concept of maintenance churches. Certain Presbyterian churches that uphold a strong adherence to their historical confessions and governance structures are considered maintenance churches. A memorial church is established or dedicated in memory of a particular event, person, or historical significance. Churches that have a special purpose or significance are tied to the memorialized element and are influenced by their practices and activities. A memorial church is characterized by its historical significance, distinctive focus, educational aspect, community involvement, and emotional connection. A memorial church must have a specific historical event, individual, or concept that seeks to honor and remember. The church's activities, programs, and even architecture reflect the theme or purpose of the memorial. Memorial churches prioritize educating their members and visitors about the significance of the memorialized event or individual. The churches engage with the local community or relevant organizations to uphold the dedicated memory. The members of a memorial church feel a strong emotional connection to the memorialized element, lorem ipsum. They represent a church dedicated to the memory of civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr., a church dedicated to remembering the victims and lessons of the Holocaust. A church was established to commemorate the events and lives lost during the September 11, 2001 attacks. A movement church is a type of church that places a strong emphasis on active engagement in social, cultural, or political movements as a core part of its identity. 
the churches seek to bring about societal change through their collective actions and advocacy. There are several characteristics a movement church possesses, including social engagement, advocacy, inclusivity, prophetic voice, and collective action. Movement churches actively involve themselves in addressing social justice issues, community needs, and broader societal challenges. Movement churches advocate for change through public awareness, education, and direct action on issues they consider important. They emphasize inclusivity, welcoming people from various backgrounds who share their passion for social change. The churches see themselves as a prophetic voice, speaking out against injustice and advocating for marginalized communities. Movement churches encourage their members to actively participate in movements and initiatives beyond the church itself. Movement churches view their faith as a catalyst for positive change in the world, seeing their role not just as spiritual communities, but as agents of transformation on a larger scale. Activities of a movement church include community outreach programs, partnering with nonprofit organizations, organizing rallies or protests, hosting educational events, and engaging in dialogues about societal issues. Movement churches observe the practices to align their faith with action, believing that their religious convictions must lead to tangible improvements in the lives of individuals and society as a whole. Movement churches draw inspiration from religious teachings that emphasize justice, compassion, and the care of the marginalized. There are three examples of movement churches which are Social Justice Christian Church, Activist Evangelical Fellowship, Progressive Interfaith Alliance, a hypothetical denomination that centers its mission on addressing social injustices, such as poverty, racial inequality, and environmental concerns. A movement within evangelicalism that focuses on advocating for various social and political causes based on their understanding of biblical teachings. A movement-oriented interfaith community that brings together members of different religions to work collaboratively on promoting social change and justice. Listed below are some key factors that contribute to the formation of religious denominations. Theological differences. Disagreements in theology arise when Christians fail to reach a consensus on fundamental issues such as the meaning of scripture or the nature of God. Various Protestant denominations, including Lutheranism and Calvinism, emerged as a result of the Protestant Reformation's break with Roman Catholicism. Doctrinal disputes. Schisms and the emergence of new religious groups result from disagreements over fundamental beliefs and practices within a religious tradition. The Eucharist dispute contributed to the division between the Roman Catholic Church and Protestant groups. Leadership and authority. Different perspectives on church leadership and power give rise to new religious movements in search of more democratic structures. The annulment of King Henry VIII's marriage caused a rift between the king and the pope which eventually led to the establishment of the Anglican Church. Worship and practices. Different denominations emerge as a result of people's own preferences in matters of worship, liturgy, and other observances of religion. Pentecostal faiths developed because of an emphasis on charismatic forms of worship, supernatural abilities, and the use of ecstatic language, social and cultural factors. Differences in sociocultural contexts, regional influences, and societal shifts all play a role in the emergence of new religious communities. The distinctive Amish faith and way of life developed in part out of a need to hold on to agricultural and communal values. Mission and evangelism. Denominations are formed with the express purpose of disseminating a certain message and their origins are traced back to mission work and evangelism. John Wesley's evangelism and outreach-focused Methodist movement gave rise to the Methodist Church. Reaction to change. The development of new groups that attempt to preserve traditional values is a common human response to the introduction of new ideas or practices into society or the parent denomination. The Restoration Movement 
sought to return the faith to its New Testament roots in response to what its members saw as aberrations among Christian groups. Ethnic and Linguistic Factors Different ethnic and linguistic groups need different kinds of religious organizations. Therefore, denominations have developed to meet their needs. The Coptic Orthodox Church developed in Egypt as a separate Christian denomination with its own canon or set of beliefs and practices. Unity within a denomination refers to the shared beliefs, core doctrines, and common practices that bind its members together as a cohesive religious community. Diversity within a denomination pertains to the range of interpretations, practices, cultural expressions, and individual beliefs that coexist within the same religious group. Unity represents the fundamental principles that unite believers and provide a sense of identity and belonging within the denomination. Unity is rooted in a common faith heritage, scriptures, and theological convictions. Diversity emerged due to varying regional influences, historical contexts, personal convictions, and approaches to specific theological or ethical matters. Diversity enriches the denomination by accommodating different perspectives and allows for adaptation to changing circumstances. Denominations have a set of core doctrines and beliefs that are considered non-negotiable among their members. The beliefs provide a foundation for unity and guide the denomination's teachings. Many denominations share common liturgical practices, rituals, and worship styles. The commonalities create a sense of unity among believers who participate in similar worship experiences. A central leadership structure, such as a governing body or ranking, contributes to unity by providing guidance, resolving disputes, and maintaining doctrinal coherence. Denominations have official statements of faith or creeds that outline their core beliefs. The confessions promote unity by articulating shared theological principles. There are diverse interpretations of certain doctrines or scriptures, even within a single denomination. The diversity of thought contributes to a rich theological dialogue. Denominations with a global presence adapt their practices and worship styles to the cultural contexts of different regions, leading to a diversity of worship experiences. Different members within a denomination hold varying views on contemporary ethical issues, such as social justice, gender roles, and human rights. Denominations that grant autonomy to local congregations or churches result in diverse practices and ministry approaches tailored to specific contexts. Denominations have historical or liturgical practices unique to certain branches or regions. The variations highlight the influence of history and culture. Unity and diversity in a denomination have both positive and challenging effects. Unity fosters a sense of belonging and collective purpose, enabling joint efforts in ministry and mission. It leads to potential conflicts when differences arise. Diversity enriches the denomination by promoting inclusivity and adaptability, but it presents challenges in maintaining theological coherence and resolving disagreements. Balancing unity and diversity requires open dialogue, respect for differing viewpoints, and a shared commitment to the core principles that define the denomination. Striking a balance allows denominations to harness the strengths of both unity and diversity, contributing to their vitality and relevance in an ever-changing world. Social justice advocacy is a vital aspect of the church and the community involvement example, as they participate in campaigns and initiatives to promote equality, human rights, and justice. Listed below are some benefits of belonging to a religious denomination. Casta, community and belonging. Denominations provide a supportive community of like-minded believers who share common values, beliefs, and experiences. Members of a local Baptist church gather regularly for worship, fellowship, and mutual support. Sunger, spiritual guidance. Denominations offer spiritual guidance through teachings, sermons, and resources that help individuals deepen their faith and understanding of religious principles. 
A Presbyterian denomination offers study materials based on the Westminster Confession of Faith. Numbers, worship and rituals. Denominations provide structured worship services and rituals that allow individuals to connect with the divine in a consistent and meaningful way. Believers participate in rituals such as the Eucharist, confession, and recitation of liturgical prayers in a Catholic Mass. Matches, education and discipleship. Denominations offer educational programs, Bible studies, and classes that contribute to spiritual growth and a deeper understanding of religious teachings. A Methodist denomination offers Sunday school classes focused on Wesleyan theology. Numberkers, social support. Denominations offer a network of individuals who provide emotional support, care during challenging times, and a sense of belonging. A member of a Pentecostal denomination receives support from fellow believers during times of personal crisis. Six, service and outreach. Denominations engage in charitable work, outreach, and mission efforts that allow members to serve their communities and make a positive impact. A Lutheran denomination organizes volunteer activities to help the less fortunate in the local area. Seven, shared values and ethics. Denominations provide a framework of shared ethical principles and values that guide members' moral decision-making. An Orthodox Jewish denomination emphasizes adherence to dietary laws and Sabbath observance. Noah, cultural identity. Denominations contribute to cultural identity, preserving traditions, languages, and practices that reflect the heritage of a specific group. A Greek Orthodox denomination maintains cultural practices while adhering to Orthodox Christian theology. Nine, continuity and tradition. Denominations provide a connection to historical continuity and tradition, enabling believers to draw from the wisdom of past generations. A Quaker denomination follows the teachings of early Quaker leaders while adapting to modern contexts. 10. Opportunities for leadership. Denominations offer avenues for individuals to develop leadership skills by taking on roles within congregations, ministries, and administrative bodies. A member of the United Church of Christ serves as a deacon or a committee to chairperson. Conducting thorough research and attending services helps a person on how to find a church that aligns with their beliefs and provides a welcoming environment for their spiritual journey. Listed below are some drawbacks of belonging to a religious denomination. Dogma and rigidity. Some denominations are rigid in their interpretations of scripture and doctrines, limiting individual freedom of belief and expression. A denomination that strictly enforces specific theological positions discourages open questioning or exploration of alternate viewpoints. Doctrinal disputes. Disagreements over theological beliefs and practices within a denomination lead to divisions and conflicts. A denomination experiences internal strife due to differences in the interpretation of specific Bible passages or doctrines, exclusivity, and judgmentalism. Some denominations foster an exclusive attitude towards outsiders or those who hold differing beliefs, leading to judgmental behaviors. A denomination that considers itself the true path to salvation views members of other faiths as misguided. Lack of flexibility. Denominational structures and traditions resist change, making it challenging to adapt to evolving societal or cultural contexts. A denomination that adheres strictly to traditional practices struggles to address modern social issues. Identity overemphasis. Focusing on denominational identity overshadows the broader message of faith and distracts from core spiritual values. A denomination prioritizes promoting its name and distinctiveness rather than emphasizing love, compassion, and service. Six, divisiveness and sectarianism. Divisions within a denomination lead to factionalism and a sense of superiority over others who don't share the same affiliation. Denominational splits result in the formation of splinter groups, 
each believing they represent the true interpretation. Sect, institutional bureaucracy. Some denominations become overly bureaucratic, focusing more on administrative matters than on spiritual growth and outreach. A large denomination with complex administrative structures struggles to effectively address the needs of local congregations. Lack of authenticity. Pressure to conform to denominational norms lead to insincere adherence and a lack of genuine spirituality. Members feel compelled to follow practices or beliefs that don't resonate with their convictions. Denominational rules and expectations hinder individual creativity and innovation in worship, ministry, and outreach. A denomination that mandates specific liturgical practices discourages congregations from exploring new forms of worship. Course, dependency on leadership. Some denominations emphasize ranking leadership, leading to a sense of dependency on leaders' decisions and interpretations. Members are discouraged from engaging in personal study and reflection, relying solely on the clergy for spiritual guidance. Religious denominations evolve over time as shaped by a complex interplay of historical, social, theological, and cultural factors. The process results in shifts across beliefs, practices, structures, and engagement with contemporary issues. The nature and pace of the evolution vary widely across different denominations and contexts, including doctrinal evolution, liturgical and worship changes, social and ethical stances, leadership and governance, cultural and regional adaptations, mission and outreach, reinterpretation of scripture, technological impact, generational shifts, and global and interdenominational relations. Denominations experience shifts in doctrinal perspectives, reinterpreting theological positions based on new biblical scholarship or changing cultural norms. The evolution leads to changes in core beliefs and practices, reflecting a denomination's ongoing theological exploration. Denominations adapt their liturgical practices and worship styles to remain relevant and resonate with contemporary audiences. They incorporate modern elements, such as technology, to enhance worship experiences and engage congregants while retaining foundational elements. Denominations grapple with social and ethical issues, reflecting changing societal attitudes. Their positions evolve in response to cultural shifts and progressive theological interpretations as they engage with matters such as gender roles, LGBTQ rights, and environmental concerns. Leadership roles and governance structures transform within denominations. Changes reflect efforts to promote gender inclusivity, increased lay involvement, and a move toward more decentralized leadership, allowing local congregations greater autonomy. Denominations encounter cultural diversity as they expand across regions. Adapting practices to local contexts to remain inclusive and relevant, incorporating languages, traditions, and customs that reflect the diverse cultural backgrounds of their members. Denominations' outreach efforts adapt to global trends, embracing new communication technologies, and extending their influence beyond borders. Global expansion contributes to a diversity of practices and beliefs influenced by various regions. Denominations reevaluate scriptural interpretations based on new historical and archaeological findings. The process, coupled with a desire for cultural relevance, leads to revised teachings and understandings of sacred texts. Denominations utilize digital platforms to foster engagement, community building, and outreach. Technological advancement enhances communication within denominations and allows them to connect with individuals across the globe. Denominations grapple with generational differences as younger members bring new perspectives and preferences, adapting their practices and messages to align with the values of younger generations to remain relevant and appealing. Denominations increasingly engage in collaborative efforts with other denominations and faith traditions. The interaction fosters shared initiatives, joint worship services, 
and theological dialogues that lead to the adoption of new practices and ideas. The evolution of religious denominations is an intricate journey marked by adaptations, growth, and sometimes tension. Posing challenges as denominations navigate the delicate balance between preserving their heritage and embracing progress, while change offers opportunities for revitalization and relevance. The term non-denominational Christianity is used to describe a subset of the Christian faith that rejects the need to adhere to any one particular church or group of Christians. It's a movement that's trying to erase the differences between Christians by emphasizing a universal Christian identity. Non-denominational Christians emerged in response to the divisions and doctrinal disagreements within established churches in the early 20th century. The movement began in the United States as an effort to bring Christians together by reiterating core beliefs and downplaying doctrinal differences. Non-denominational Christianity flourished throughout the 20th century in the United States after the middle of the century. Its origins and fundamental influence is traced back to the United States, although it has since gone global. Simplified and decentralized worship and doctrine are hallmarks of non-denominational Christianity. Non-denominational Christians attend community churches or independent congregations rather than those affiliated with a specific religious group. The churches emphasized individual faith in Jesus, the inerrancy of scripture, and the transmission of essential Christian doctrines over the preservation of sectarian creeds and traditions. Contemporary music, relaxed dress standards, and participatory sermons are all commonplace in non-denominational churches. The flexibility helps them to form meaningful relationships with people from various walks of life, including those who are unfamiliar with or suspicious of religious identities. Christians of all denominations are welcome in non-denominational churches since the emphasis is on common ground rather than doctrinal disagreements. The method is attractive to those who are looking for a welcoming and diverse religious family. Decisions in non-denominational churches are determined at the local level rather than being handed down from a higher authority. The churches serve the needs and preferences of their members and the communities in which they are located because of their independence. Individuals are urged to develop their unique religion and relationship with God within non-denominational Christianity inspiring Christians to become closer to God through introspective prayer, careful Bible study, and thoughtful contemplation. Non-denominational Christianity is a response to historical denominational strife, emphasizing Christian unity and the importance of core Christian doctrine over denominational differences. The movement is known for its autonomous churches, openness to many forms of worship, acceptance of all people, and an emphasis on the individual's connection with God. Yes, a person is allowed to belong to multiple religious denominations simultaneously. Joining more than one religious denomination is commonly referred to as religious pluralism or religious syncretism. Many others are more accepting of diverse beliefs and practices, while some religious denominations have strict guidelines or exclusivity clauses that discourage or prohibit members from simultaneously belonging to other denominations. There are several reasons why a person belongs to multiple religious denominations, including culture, personal beliefs, interfaith relationships, syncretism, and exploration. Individuals have been raised in a family or cultural context where multiple religions are practiced and they continue to identify with and participate in those traditions. Some people find value in different aspects of various religious teachings, rituals, and philosophies. Choosing to incorporate elements from different denominations into their spiritual practice, individuals in interfaith relationships where partners belong to different religious traditions actively participate in the religious practices of both partners' denominations. Religious syncretism occurs in certain regions and contexts where different religious traditions blend and influence each other, leading to a unique combination of beliefs and practices. 
Some individuals are curious about different religions and participate in activities or rituals from various denominations to gain a broader understanding of spirituality and culture. The degree to which a person simultaneously belongs to multiple religious denominations vary. Some denominations are more accommodating of the practice, while others see it as conflicting with their core beliefs. Some individuals find meaning in practicing multiple traditions, while others face challenges in reconciling divergent beliefs and practices. Belonging to multiple religious denominations ultimately depends on the beliefs and practices of the specific denominations involved and the individual's approach to spirituality and religion. There are various motivations and contexts for individuals belonging to multiple religious denominations. Yes, Catholicism belongs to a denomination. Catholicism is a major branch of Christianity and is referred to as a Christian denomination. Various denominations have distinct beliefs, practices, and organizational structures within the broader Christian faith. Catholicism is one of the denominations. Catholicism is characterized by its adherence to the teachings of Jesus Christ and the authority of the Pope, who is considered the spiritual leader and head of the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church has a well-defined ranking, sacraments, liturgical practices, and a rich theological tradition. It is organized into various local congregations known as dioceses and has a global presence. There are different rites or liturgical traditions within the Catholic Church, such as the Latin Rite and various Eastern Catholic Rites, each with its distinct liturgical practices while remaining under the umbrella of Catholicism. Catholicism is just one of many Christian denominations. Other denominations within Christianity include Protestantism, Eastern Orthodoxy, Anglicanism, and various independent and non-denominational groups. Each of the denominations has its own unique beliefs and practices, all identifying as part of the broader Christian faith. Yes, denominations mean Christianity. However, the notion is not exclusive to Christianity. Denominations are separate organizations that share similar beliefs, practices, and organizational structures in the context of Christianity. Different denominations have different ecclesiastical structures, cultural norms, and doctrinal beliefs. Theological disagreements, historical events, and cultural factors have all contributed to the development of distinct Christian denominations throughout time. Larger groups such as the Catholic Church, the Protestant United Brethren Church, and the Eastern Orthodox Church do exist. There are smaller, more niche churches. The idea of denominations is more unique to Christianity than to other religions, since many other faiths lack the same historical and theological variety that Christianity has. The Christian Church is divided into several denominations, but other faiths possess distinct sects, traditions, or schools of thought. Thank you for joining us. Well, folks, our time together has come to an end, but our journey of exploring church denominations is far from over. There are still more fascinating traditions and beliefs to discover. So stay curious, keep learning, and let's celebrate our differences unified in our faith. Until next time, May you find inspiration in your exploration of faith, and God bless.